Hi friends, in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can resolve index of forward slash issue on your website and on your hosting. So as you can see here on our another domain, which is uh, here, you can see the new domain and it is also showing the same index of forward slash, which means there is a problem with the files. So no need to worry about, I'm going to take you step by step. So this is the main domain file, which we are going to resolve. And we only see this folder and these two are subdomains. So at the moment we will not be talking about these two. So don't worry about that. So the main domain file is here only this file we see and we see a sign index of forward slash so let's get started how we can sort this out i will take you to my cpanel where i have created one domain which is main domain and two subdomains so here is the main domain as you can see, it is also showing a tag main domain and these are subdomain. As you can see, the demo dot the for, for yes, and the same way the show dot the domain. Both domains are also showing here. Once you see your main website, if main website is not showing, then both of them you will see both subdomains. I mean, so now we are going to test with our index HTML file to our main domain and see how it is showing. It is uploaded now. I'm just going to refresh our page. And here we go the problem has been resolved so it mean you have got index.html file or index.php file is missing on your server as well as other files those are related to your websites so now we are going to see one more thing php we are going to upload index.php and see which one of them are going to show the php one or html so now we are going to refresh as you can see the php code i did not correct because i just wanted to show you the php is going to take over to html so html will not be showing because nowadays the servers are made to work on php files so now we go to our cpanel i'm going to show the php file and the html file so html file we will delete that you can understand which file i am editing now as you can see it is not showing and this is was uh, this was my purpose to show you the php file is still um, working so edit now i'm going to make some changes on our coding and this file you will see and this is your PHP um, extension file or index file or any other related files you will see. Here you go. Voila. Now you have got um, fixed your index of forward slash problem with the help of these two files. If you are using um, HTML websites, obviously you will see index.html here. But if you are 
using WordPress or any other websites, those are using PHP and databases, you will see index.php file. These are the subdomains. They have got the same thing, same way index file. As you can see, you don't see here any index file. So let's upload the same PHP file. First, I will show you. It will not be showing anything because we need to edit the coding. So this is a testing purpose. I'm just showing you. It is uploaded. Now we just open a new tab because this one is the main domain. And now I'm working on subdomain. As I showed you earlier that we have created two subdomains. So I'm working on the demo. So the demo one will be here and after writing the whole subdomain and main domain extension, enter. As you can see, it is not showing here because the same index file we are using, which we use for our main domain. Now I'm going to copy this one. So just I will copy and paste into the subdomain. Now we are going to just refresh because I already uploaded I uploaded this file to demo. This is the domain demo .com. So here we are going to refresh to see this file. Exactly. As you can see, this is the file. Now we are just going to edit and I'll just remove the old coding. And I'm going to paste here the one which is working, save and close. We'll go back to our, this is the same index file. We are going back to our subdomain, voila. So this is the way if you have got a problem with your subdomain or you have a problem to your main domain, you can resolve this problem by checking the index file this could be in html or .php the extension depends on the website nature so this is the main you will find in public html your index file and then if you need to go any other subdomain so these are up there now I'm just deleting and showing the same situation after deletion you can see index of error again showing on our main domain so this is the way you can check your files and no need to worry about if you see or face any kind of problem or you have any kind of concerns you can comment me uh, in YouTube and get in touch. I will help you as much as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos if you find them useful. Thank you.